So here's a solar panel, it's foldable, it has five elements. It's a 100 watt solar panel and it's charging a phone. It has a voltage reducer circuit which is visible here. So this is connected to the power output of the solar panel. This is the one which comes from the solar panel. We have also some shadows here. The tree is partially covering the sun, but we have enough power. We have a red LED there. We have enough power to charge the phone with 1.5 amps, 1.6 amps, 1600 milliamps. Of course, the solar panel gives 100 watts, so much less is being used by the phone. But this is enough. So this is reducing the variable voltage which comes in on this side and it has a constant 5 volt output which gives currently 1.5 amps, 1.6. So all I added is this small circuit board and then you don't need a charge controller which is somewhere here, it's this one. But the charge controller also requires a battery so this directly converts the power of the solar panel to 5 volts to the phone or whatever you want to charge. This is just a small circuit. It's attached by a velcro to the other cable so it's only this blue circuit board. This is the power in. If I unplug that it says wait. Now it's a negative number so the phone is discharging and if I plug it in we will have a positive number, positive 1500. So currently there is no direct sunshine, we have clouds, no sunshine on the panels, and although it receives some power because there is a red LED there, the phone says either almost nothing or before it was negative and now it's negative. So without a clear sun on the sky you cannot use a 100 watt solar panel. Of course the angle is not correct, it should be somewhere there instead of there. 